Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. It's Wednesday morning. It's a coffee kind of morning. I want to continue my series on um, uh, most influential albums or influential albums uh, that I have in my collection um, on CD. I'll be going through my albums uh, once I finish through my CDs. Uh, so I've gone through the 60s the year 1970 the year 1971 um, just want to go through 1972 and show you some of the uh, influential albums that I have obviously I don't have all of them but uh, what I have is pretty darn good <laughs> I think anyway um, and I'll go over those uh, with you in just a sec before I do please hit the like and subscribe button below thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far I greatly appreciate it I want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collection. Um, I normally keep my CDs in pretty decent order by group um, after doing this series tonight. <laughs> uh, I gotta take some time and put them back in order but uh, anyway it's all fun. So let's start off. Heavy hitter, probably the most uh, commercially successful album. This is Wishbone Ash Argus. Use that as my thumbnail. This has been a remastered uh, version. Great, great album. Two CD collection. So on disc one, um, we've got the original album from 1972, Time Was, Sometime World, Blow and Free, The King Will Come, Leaf and Stream, Warrior and Throw Down the Sword. And there's uh, three bonus tracks, uh, No Easy Road, The Pilgrim and Phoenix. Um, and then on disc two, uh, some rare uh, live uh, sessions from BBC Radio. Um, recorded at the BBC uh, Paris Theatre in 1972. Uh, Time Was, Blowing Free, Warrior, Throwing Down the Sword, The King Will Come, Phoenix, Blowing Free and Throw Down the Sword. Um, yeah, the, the last Throw Down the Sword is the BBC Radio 1, Pete Drummond show season recorded um, May 10th, 1972. Awesome. Awesome album. Argus. I'm going to save you for the last. One of my all-time favorite albums by one of my all-time favorite bands outside of the Beatles. Um, I have this in album format. Uh, this is a uh, anniversary 2 CD edition. Machine Head, Deep Purple. Again, this is the original cover. The two CD section. Side two having uh, it's a Roger Glover, the basis for the uh, for the band. Um, it, they did uh, different um, guitar solos um, and remixes on on all the uh, all the songs. So they're the same songs, but the guitar solos are quite different. I obviously prefer the originals. Um, but uh, it, it's quite cool how they've uh, how they've done that. He's a, he did a good did a great job on on this. There's hence uh, the word smoke or the song "Smoke in the Water." Some stupid with a flare gun. There's the mobile Rolling Stones mobile unit that they recorded their album on. Excuse me. There's the boys there. Uh, John Lord. Ian Pace on drums. There's Roger Glover there on bass. 
There's the boys there. Um, the great Richie Blackmore and Ian Pace. I'm oh, sorry, Ian Gillen. One of the best vocalists ever. There's again Richie Blackmore, top ten guitarist, and Ian Gillen on vocals. So yeah, it's a, a great remix. Highway Star, Maybe I'm a Leo, um, Pictures of Home, Never Before, Smoke in the Water, uh, Lazy, Space Trucking. Uh, they also include When a Blind Man Cries on this one as well, which was uh, not on the original album, but uh, one of my all-time favorites. Um, the second side of this one, pardon me, um, the second side of this one, if there is a second side, the, there's a um, tracks 6 through 15 is taken from the album Made in England released in 1972 so includes uh, Time Take My Life, Stand By Me, a little bit of um, Inner Air Don't Know What Went Wrong um, Never To Lose Introduction um, Breathless, Space Cowboy People You Can't Trust, All In Satan's Name and Close Your Eyes this is off the box set Atomic Rooster, Sleeping for Years. And this is off of disc three of that box set. Great rock band, British rock band Atomic Rooster. Very unique band, highly underrated, but uh, yeah, very cool box set from 1972. Mata Hoople, all the young dudes. Classic, classic album. Classic, classic album. Um, Sweet Jane, Mama's Little Jewel, All the Young Dudes, title track, Sucker, Jerk and, uh, Jerk and Crocus, One of the Boys, Soft Ground, Ready for Love After Lights, Sea Diver, features Ian Hunter on vocals and piano, Mick Ralphs, uh, who went on to become part of um, Foreigner, if I'm not mistaken. Over in Watts, uh, bass, uh, Buffin on drums, Burden Allen on vocals and organs, um, and also features David Bowie on soft ground, do the lead vocals. Now, Mick Ross didn't go to Foreigner. What am I talking about? Sorry, my bad. Cool CD. Very classic, very, very rocking CD as well. I think I'm thinking of Mick Jones. One of my all time favorite Yes albums. This is Close to the Edge, released in 
featuring the great um, John Anderson, Bill Bruford on percussions, <clears throat> Steve Howe on guitars and vocals, Quish, Chris Squire on bass and vocals, and Rick Wakeman on keyboards. Um, John Anderson, just one of the most unique voices in rock, progressive rock. Uh, what a classic lineup that was. Great, great, great. Obviously a remastered version. <clears throat> And it sounds great, it plays great. <clears throat> yeah. Close to the edge. From this great box set, their second studio album, ZZ Top, Rio Grande Mud, released in 1972. Bluesy, bluesy album. Bluesy, bluesy album. <clears throat> Francine, Just Got Paid, Mushmouth Shoutin', Coco Blue, Chevrolet, um, Apologies to Pearl, Barbecue, um, Sure Got Cold After the Rain Fell, Whiskey Mama, and Down Brownie. Just a bluesy, bluesy rockin' album. The boys there. These guys, Sean, they never called themselves the blues band, but they were definitely bluesy. Great, great box set as well. Off of this great box set, their very first album, The Eagles. Not a bad debut album. Features uh, Take It Easy, their big, big hit. Witchy Woman, another huge hit for them. Chug All Night, uh, Most of Us Are Sad, Nightingale, Train Leaves uh, Here in This Morning, Take to the Devil, Early Bird, Peaceful Easy Feeling, another big hit, and Tryin'. Eagles. From the Faces. A nod is as good as a wink. The Great Faces featuring Ronnie Wood and Rod Stewart. Ronnie Wood's a very underrated player. Uh, he gets overshone by Keith Richards, I believe, but uh, he's a multi instrumentalist so he can he can play pretty much anything. So it's uh, Miss Dew's Farm, You're So Rude, Love Lives Here, Last Orders Please, Stay With Me, Big Hit, Debris, Memphis, Too Bad and That's All You Need. It's also a bonus track on here, Miss Judy's Farm and Stay With Me. Great big box set. <laughs> this is a, uh, a top 10 debut album. This is Can't Buy a Thrill, Steely Dan. The great, great Steely Dan. Do It Again. Dirty Work. Two hits right off the bat. Kings, Midnight Cruiser. Only a Fool Would Say That. Reeling in the Years. Still playing on classic rock radio. Fire in the Hole. Brooklyn. Change of the Guard. And turn that heartbeat over again. Great, great debut album. Also in 1972, Ziggy Stardust, David Bowie. Very young David Bowie there.
there. Very uh, spacey kind of album. But uh, awesome, just the same. So, Five Years, Soul Love, uh, Moonish Daydream, Starman, It Ain't Easy, Lady Stardust, Star, Hang On To Yourself, Ziggy Stardust, uh, Suffragette City, great, great song, and Rock and Roll Suicide. Awesome album. And last but definitely not least, I don't know why I leave this band always to the last, but probably one of their best albums. Uh, yeah, I would say probably the best album. Black Sabbath Volume 4. Just heavy, heavy. Heavy album, the classic Black Sabbath. There's Ozzy, Tony Iommi. Great photos in here. All remastered, all sounding great. So, Wheels of Confusion, Tomorrow's Dream, Changes. Uh, probably a lot of people say their weakest song ever. Uh, it's quite a departure from their heavy, heavy sound, but it's a cool song just on its own. Uh, FX, Supernaut, Snowblind, uh, Cornucopia, uh, Luguini, Sunrise, St. Vitus, Dance, and Under the Sun. This is a, a 2016 re uh, release from the 1972 album. So there you have it. There's some... Uh, There's some cool 1972 releases that are influential albums, in my opinion. Um, I'll see what I have for 1973, and going forward, uh, uh, it's fun. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Again, please hit the like and subscribe. Thank you so much to the, for everyone that liked and subscribed so far. You guys have been awesome. And uh, I'll try to respond to all the comments, and uh, you guys have been putting great comments out there as well. So, anyway. Have yourself a wonderful day and take care. Bye-bye.